Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your go-to source for the latest in space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna. Today, we've got some fascinating stories lined up that you won't want to miss. We'll be diving into SpaceX's recent breakthroughs, including the reveal and first firing of their latest Raptor 3 engine. We'll also cover major milestones from NASA, such as the significant progress made with the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. Lastly, we'll discuss an exciting citizen science project from the European Space Agency that invites you to help classify thousands of newly imaged galaxies. So grab your telescopes and let's embark on this cosmic journey together. SpaceX had a bustling week, revealing and firing the new Raptor 3 engine. This advanced engine significantly improves performance, packing a punch with 280 metric tons of thrust while being lighter than its predecessors. What makes Raptor 3 stand out is its internal design, where much of the external plumbing has been either moved inside or eliminated, allowing for higher pressure and efficiency. This marks a noteworthy evolution from the Raptor 2, which has been the workhorse of SpaceX's Starship program so far. Meanwhile, SpaceX isn't just resting on its laurels. The company is deeply engaged in preparations for Flight 6 and is eagerly awaiting regulatory approval for Flight 5. These efforts include readiness checks and vital tests. Excitingly, this also involves operational tests with the Mechazilla chopsticks, a key mechanism designed to catch the Starship boosters as they return from space. The upcoming Flight 5 mission is on standby, with both the ship and the booster cleared and ready, pending final clearance. This highlights SpaceX's relentless push to refine its technologies and expand its capabilities, keeping the momentum going for future space endeavors. SpaceX is also rapidly advancing in its Starship project, with Ship 33 nearing full assembly. Only two sections remain to complete the first Block 2 ship, the bottom liquid oxygen tank section and the aft engine section. This new configuration will allow SpaceX to add around 300 extra tons of propellant, enhancing the ship's capabilities. In the meantime, major upgrades are underway for Booster 14.1. It's back at orbital launch pad A for more testing, particularly focusing on the innovative Mechazilla chopsticks catch mechanism. These tests are crucial to ensuring the system can handle the instant loads required for successful booster recovery. Crews are also making significant progress on orbital launch pad B. The tower now stands six modules tall, with ongoing work to complete the remaining sections. Welds are being finished around the tower base, and the hollow walls are being filled with concrete for added strength. These combined efforts are not just about the immediate preparations for future flights. They are paving the way for more efficient and reliable Starship launches and recoveries. SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space travel technology, ensuring they stay ahead in the rapidly evolving aerospace industry. NASA has achieved a significant milestone with the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. Recently, the deployable aperture cover, an essential component of the telescope, successfully passed rigorous environmental tests designed to simulate the challenging conditions it will face during launch and in space. This large sunshade is designed to keep unwanted light out of the telescope, ensuring the clarity and accuracy of its observations. The tests took place at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, where the sunshade endured extreme temperatures and high decibel acoustic conditions, all while tightly folded. Technicians subjected the cover to temperatures as low as minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit and monitored its performance through sensors and cameras. It deployed flawlessly, proving its resilience in simulated space conditions. This achievement brings the mission one step closer to the integration of the deployable aperture cover with Roman's other subsystems this fall. The success of these tests marks a promising milestone, ensuring the telescope will be well protected and ready for its critical observations of the cosmos. The European Space Agency and Galaxy Zoo are calling for public participation to classify thousands of galaxies imaged by the Euclid Space Telescope. This citizen science project is perfect for astronomy enthusiasts who love to explore the cosmos and contribute to scientific research. Euclid, launched in July 2023 has been gathering data since February 2024, capturing images of billions of galaxies to study dark matter and dark energy. That's a colossal amount of data. ESA needs your help to sift through it all and classify the galaxies by their shapes and structures. By participating, you could be the first to lay eyes on these newly captured galaxies. You'll answer simple questions like, is the galaxy round? Or does it have spiral arms? Each classification you make helps train the artificial intelligence system ZooBot, to better recognize galaxy features in the future. 
Your contributions are crucial for building an extensive catalog of galaxies that will aid researchers in their study of the universe. Not only will you assist in advancing astronomical research, but you'll also get the unique opportunity to see images of distant galaxies before anyone else. So if you've ever wanted to play a direct role in space exploration, now is your chance. Sign up with Galaxy Zoo and start classifying today. A groundbreaking sounding rocket mission is set to study the sun as a star. This first of its kind mission aims to observe the sun's behavior in an unprecedented way, potentially unlocking new insights into solar science. By utilizing a sounding rocket, scientists can gather unique data on solar activity that regular satellites and space telescopes might miss. This mission exemplifies the innovative approaches being taken in the field of astronomy to deepen our understanding of celestial phenomena. The new perspectives gained from this mission could revolutionize our knowledge of how the sun operates and impact future space research. Thank you for tuning in to Astronomy Daily. I've been your host, Anna. For more space and astronomy news, visit our website at astronomydaily.io, where you can sign up for our free daily newsletter, check our news feed, and listen to past episodes. Follow us on social media at Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. Until next time, keep looking up.